Now we turn to Brexit. A vote over Prime Minister Theresa May's deal will take place on Tuesday. She's making her final push to rally support, and emotions are running high ahead of the vote. Timothy Urich has more. A divided Britain and a divided Parliament. Lawmakers are getting ready to vote on Prime Minister Theresa May's Brexit deal. And everyone from opposition leader Jeremy Corbyn... I would rather get a negotiated deal now. ...to managers of UK soccer teams... You know, life will go on. ...to protesters are making their voices heard. Leave me, sleep. Leave me, sleep. Writing for the Sunday Express, a popular British tabloid, may warn lawmakers about the implications of rejecting her Brexit plan. She said doing so would be a catastrophic and unforgivable breach of trust in our democracy. She urged them to forget the games and do what is right for our country. UK opposition and Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn also gave his thoughts on the vote. My own view is that I would rather get a negotiated deal now if we can to stop the danger of a no-deal exit from the EU on the 29th of March, which would be catastrophic for industry, catastrophic for trade, and the long-term effects of that would be huge. Corbyn says he prefers that an agreement be reached over a second referendum. He said the March 29th deadline may need to be extended if the current deal is rejected and a general election were to take place. The opposition leader also said he would call for a vote to remove May soon if her deal does not pass. We will table a motion of no conference in the government at a time of our choosing, but uh, it's going to be soon, don't worry about that. Brexit has extended well beyond the political arena, pouring into the soccer stadium as well. When asked about how it may affect the team's business, Cardiff City manager Neil Warnock unleashed strong words on the government's handling of the issue. I don't know why politicians don't do what the country wanted, if I'm honest. You know, they had a referendum, you know, and now we see different politicians and all, everybody else trying to put the foot in it with Theresa instead of getting behind her, you know. Why did we have a referendum in the first bloody place? You know, I can't wait to get out of them, if I'm honest. I think we'll be far better out of the bloody thing, I mean, in every aspect, and to hell with the rest of the world. Warnock is among the many voicing their opinions as the clock winds down ahead of tomorrow's vote. Many expect Parliament to reject May's deal, which will most likely lead to even more discontent. Timothy Ulrich, CGTN.